Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It is your boy Optic Scumpy bringing you another Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary here today on the map Meltdown. Uh, as many of you know, uh, whenever I was live streaming yesterday, Twitch actually had a little bit of a hiccup. Mobile views were getting all messed up and jacked up and stuff. So I decided to get off and start working on a couple of videos for you guys uh, to watch. And I was gonna, my plan was to make a bunch of videos tonight so I would be able to live stream. Uh, continuously without stopping to get off and make videos for the next day. Uh, it just seemed like a much easier way to go about things than, you know, obviously stopping and starting and stop. You know what I'm saying? It just felt easier. So, I played some games. I went for some game plays. I got three in a row, actually. Uh, there was this one, and then I got one on Carrier, and then I got one on Rush. The one on Carrier and Rush were both nuclears, actually. And they were really, really ca crazy, crazy game plays. And it was pretty fortunate that I, I got off and I got three gameplays in a row. So I was really happy about that. And yeah, so yesterday people were starting to say that live comms were getting boring. Not a lot of people, but a couple of people. So I decided to go back and make an actual regular commentary, try and switch things up a little bit. And right here I get super unlucky because I know seeing the same thing over and over again uh, can get tedious and repetitive. So... You know, I decided to make regular live com. I mean, a regular commentary. See, I even say live commentary, but it has been a while since I've made a regular commentary, and it does feel weird, but it's definitely, definitely still doable and definitely still enjoyable. But uh, live comms, I don't know. People were saying you just hop on for 10 minutes, you get a live com, you get off, and that's not the case, obviously, since I'm streaming um, for you know however many hours a day, uh, entertaining people. It's just. I don't know. Live comms do, they're easier to make, but um, they definitely still require work and they're still fun to do. So I don't know. I don't know what the problem is, but um, I'm still going to do live comms, don't get me wrong. But I just thought I would throw this in there to switch it up. But so this gameplay was on Meltdown and I threw it in there because today I want to talk a little bit about COD Ghosts and the future and what I foresee in the future. I'm a freaking fortune teller genie scumpy. So basically in this gameplay, um, I go to work, I think I end up going, I don't want to say how many kills I got, I go like something really ridiculous and three, um, I get a lot of kills and I only die three times throughout the video, so it's a really, really good gameplay, and I threw it in here because one of the problems with Black Ops 2 is the servers and lag, so recently, We've been playing League Play, uh, me and Matt, we've been playing with subscribers on Twitch.tv, and the servers have been booting us out, they've been lagging at times, making us drop to red bar, just a whole bunch of things that are affecting our gameplay, obviously, you're dropping to red bar, you're not, you can't kill anything if you're freaking red bar, I mean, you can, but it's really difficult, so, it's been affecting our gameplay negatively, and it really sucks, and even in this gameplay, you're gonna see... Everything's crystal clear right now, you know, my connection's good, I'm killing people quick, my bullets are registering, everything's going good. And then, towards the end of the first half, which is about now, and leading up into the second half, things start to get really, really laggy, and you'll see that, and right there is my first little skip of lag. You'll see that it progressively gets laggier and laggier as things go on, which is unfortunate, it actually ends up killing me uh, I think one or two of the times, right there, you just saw another lag spike. And right here, I just choked. There are three of them right in my sight, and I just completely miss. But um, you'll start to see the lag, and it sucks. Like, right here, it's like this for the rest of the game, and it sucks. It really does. It's the servers. It wasn't my connection. I was four-barring the whole time, and it was happening uh, to us throughout the whole day. And it's, it's just unacceptable to pay for a game and then be lagging on account of the game and I wouldn't be mad if it happened every now and again you know every once in a while but for it to happen as often as it did today it really is a bother and it really is aggravating and it because we pay for such good internet and then to have the server the serve the servers the servers just lag on us it, it sucks it really does but so what I want to talk about with ghosts is obviously servers that's one of the main things servers are definitely one of the the key things that I'm hitting on because obviously they were screwing with us uh, today and yesterday even hopefully their servers are freaking fixed infinity ward games are usually really really good about their servers black ops one I mean I can't even remember black back to black ops one I feel like the servers weren't that bad but they weren't that good either 
Um, but I remember MW3, the connections were usually really, really crisp. Uh, at least when, when I was at home, I had a really good connection at home. And uh, the connections were usually really, really good. Nothing went wrong. I was usually in a pretty good connection lobby most of the time. And that's how it is in Black Ops 2. I'm in a good connection lobby, but then the servers will start to just completely screw up. But so, what I hope for in Ghosts, obviously, better servers. Uh, Infinity Ward, like I said, usually usually better about that. And Infinity Ward games, I don't know, Infinity Ward games are just smoother to me. Uh, usually Treyarch games feel a little bit more choppy. Black Ops 1 felt choppy. It didn't, f like, it still felt smooth. It just felt different than Infinity Ward games do. Infinity Ward games just, they look clear, they feel more fluent. I don't know what it is about them. It must be the engine that they're running on. It has to be. Um, but you can just see that lag. It's just completely, it's so shitty. But, um, like I said, they're m more fluent. They just run better. They feel better. I don't know. I, I really don't. But, as you all know, in Infinity Ward games, well, or maybe you don't know, I don't know, um, jump shotting is a lot more effective in Treyarch games, where drop shotting is usually ten times more effective in Infinity Ward games. And I enjoy that a lot more. I would much rather drop shot than jump shot, because drop shotting you usually drop, and it's a lot easier for me to keep my aimer on somebody when I'm drop shotting. And as you know, in Black Ops 2, whenever you drop shot, like, your first couple of bullets or your first, like, not couple of bullets, like, your first five bullets will miss whenever you're in the, the drop shotting animation. And I don't really enjoy that. Uh, I would much rather have it just straight drop and all of your bullets are hitting. That was always that was always fun for me. It's easier for me to do as a claw player uh, as opposed to jump shotting. So I hope that they have that in there. But the main thing that I really want to focus on and key in on for this is the competitive aspect of Ghosts. So Black Ops 2 kick-started competitive so, so heavily with league play, with hardpoint. Hardpoint really helped out. With just a whole bunch of different features, Codcaster, uh, that really helped the competitive community out drastically. And you can tell how much it's helped the competitive community. Like MLG Anaheim, for instance, there were fans too. You couldn't even, like, it was a sea of people when you were on main stage. When it was back in Black Ops 1, there were maybe, like, 20, 30 people in the crowds. And usually... A lot of people that were there were just players just, you know, watching the game whenever they got knocked out, whenever they weren't playing, whenever they were in their downtime. So to see the growth is absolutely immense. And the problem is with Call of Duty is that every single installment of a new Call of Duty, there's obviously a lot of changes. It's not consistent. There's new guns. There's new features. Sometimes there aren't competitive features uh, involved and Black Ops 2 is the first so that's what we're really really hoping for over here on the competitive side of uh, Call of Duty is for them to implement the same competitive features that were in Black Ops 2 and there really are only two that really helped Black Ops 2 a lot which was the land lobby which is a necessity you absolutely need that running tournaments without land lobbies is just an absolute shit show and you guys can just see the lag it's absolutely ridiculous um, and then a codcaster or a spectator mode of some sort, something that allows us to spectate and see more than just one person's screen, and that's it. And right here, this is where the lag got me killed. I was, oh man, you can only imagine how furious I was whenever that happened. But those are really the two things that we need for Call of Duty. Uh, like I said, it sucks that we have to switch games every single Call of Duty. Um, because a new one's coming out, and obviously everybody wants to see the new one. Viewership starts to shift over towards the new Call of Duty. So, oh man, this, I freaking, he's so loud. But, um, it sucks that we have to switch, but it, it brings something fresh, it brings something new. The thing that I really hope, I mean, I hope that it's in there for the sake of competitive, but I hope it's not in there for the sake of me and personal preference, is Hardpoint. Okay, so Hardpoint was basically the bane of call of optic gaming for Black Ops 2. We can't oh, seem to learn Hardpoint, or not that, not even though we can't learn it. We just can't beat top teams consistently on Hardpoint when we can beat them in other game types. So I really hope that Hardpoint is in the next Call of Duty because of how much I think that it has helped. You can't be showing me that shit while I'm doing a commentary, dude. I know I'm not gonna say anything, but damn. All right, sorry guys. Nate shot sidetracked me, but um, but 
what was I even saying? Hard point, hard point, hard point. Oh, I hope that it's... Oh my god, you just completely ruined my commentary, dude. Hard point. We won it in because it helped out Call of Duty so much with stream numbers. And uh, it really makes the game fun and exciting to watch. It's something new. It switches it up between CTF and Search and Destroy. And I really hope that it's in there. And right here, this is where the servers just absolutely start to bang me and the game ends. But that's going to be the end of the live commentary, guys. Giving you a couple things that I want to see in Ghost while Nate Shot completely tries to ruin my commentary. But if you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you hit the like button down below. Favorite if you really enjoyed it. Comment, let me know what you saw the video. The Any constructive criticism stuff, always helps me out. That's Subscribe that's to the that's channel that's if you haven't already, and follow me on Twitter. It'll be in the description below. But as always, guys, this was your boy Epic Scumpy. That's fake. That's definitely fake Scumpy, right? Right, BA sniper. Joking, real scum. Joking, scum.